What's up YouTube? In today's video is going to be a part 2 of uh, a video I did almost a year ago when I did the uh, True Fiber Carbon Fiber Matte Light Cover. Um, when I bought it, I bought a lot of stuff in bulk and uh, I didn't even realize it was for a convertible. You know, and uh, shit, matter of fact, somebody uh, told me on the comments before they were saying it don't fit right because it's made for a convertible. So I was like, what the hell? So I looked it up and sure enough, it was made for a convertible. So um, in this video right here, you're gonna see me try to attempt to make it work uh, for a regular GT or whatever. All right, hope you enjoy the video. This 50 go. I told you to not drink and drive. All right, so here's the update on my uh, my True Fiber uh, map light cover. If you remember before in the previous video, like I said, uh, this was uh, all filled in. It had a little gap where you hit the switch up for the top and down for the top. And uh, so what I did was I cut the square, made the thing a little bit bigger to fit over this. Because if you look in there, there is like a, some kind of microphone or something in there. I don't know if that has to do with the Bluetooth or that uh, anti-noise, whatever, whatever, like some cars have right there. So, you don't want to really block that. So, what I did is I, I cut it out, fouled it up, so it'll go on like that. And then I even cut the little part for the uh, airbag light, the passenger airbag light. Alright, let's put this bad boy back in the car and see how it looks. Alright, what I'm going to do is just wipe it down with some alcohol to get all the dirt and all the other stuff off of it. Then I'm going to come back, put some adhesive promoter on there, peel back the 3M tape, and stick it on there. I'm not going to film all that. If you want to see how, how to do it exactly, watch my old video. Alright, so we're inside the car right now. We got it on everything back back together and uh now you can see a little bit better how it's gonna look in the car so like I said all the lights and everything worked like they're supposed to that wasn't a problem last time either but the problem was like I said this was all covered up right here and had a little strip for the uh switch for the convertible top and it didn't have this uh airbag light so that's all I did it will work like I had it before but this way, you know, it's did a little custom stuff. So now, like I said, if you can see the key that see you can see the airbag light. And uh whatever this little thing down here was, it's not blocked up. So sometimes if you want something to work, you gotta do some custom stuff. But anyway, there you have it. Alright, so there you have it to follow up to my true fiber, carbon fiber map light. Um See, it's just certain things like that make you think, why don't True Fiber make one for the convertible and want to just make one for just the regular cars? I mean, it's not that hard to do, and people are going to buy them anyway. I understand that that convertible piece, the whole whole part up there, and the, the, and the eight pillars are all carbon fiber, so I understand why they do it for that. But I think they should make them for uh, regular uh, S197s too. You know. Just my two cents, but oh well. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification bell up there. And uh, don't drink and drive. Until next time, peace.